After crowning 14 new champions this year, the Legacy Fighting Alliance isn't finished handing out the hardware just yet. It's time to wrap up 2021 by awarding the LFA Submission of the Year trophy, and we want you to decide who deserves the honor. After 35 submission finishes, we narrowed the best down to the top 16 nominees, and here they are in chronological order, beginning with LFA number 98. It took submission expert Tabitha Ritchie only 67 seconds to work her magic on the ground and secure a first round armbar. Tabitha Ritchie, red yeah. tape and gray. Yeah, they're not wasting any time. They were getting each other's face right away, but this is what Ritchie does best. She locks you up, she takes you down, she gets on top of you. Armbar here, she's trapping the arm. Yeah, she's doing a good job. Yeah, she's sitting off, about to grab that yep, arm right belly there. Down. Belly down. Belly down Submission expert oh, and is Great submission for Tabitha Ritchie. And out. Charles Johnson showed he could be a big time threat on the mat when he executed a perfect anaconda choke at LFA 100. Charles Johnson. Ooh, it's backed up. And call it Bogolin. Those were some hard punches. Charles Johnson's not having it though. He's no, able he's to not. Get in on the legs to a double leg. Land in the front headlock and he's cinching up an anaconda choke. It looks tight. Oh my gosh, look at this move. And there's the tap. Over and out. Charles Johnson. Making her debut at LFA 101, BJJ Black Belt, Jacqueline Amorim put on a submission clinic and scored a 33 second rear naked choke finish. You're gonna see some interesting thing happen, happening right now. Well, right away she shot. Jackie shot right away. It's the easiest path to victory for her. Dropping some bombs. Oh, and now and she's got over. the neck and Keisha Gandhi is out just like that. Wow, Whoa. impressive. Quick Very impressive. work. One of the highest level rear naked chokes we've ever seen went down at LFA 101 when submission grappler Hunter Colvin made his LFA debut. First round both finishes. Look at that, how fast he's able to jump on the back, stay on position. You see a high level grappling right now. Oh, and this is not a good spot for Ikebuna. Ikebuna needs to protect that neck. It looks like it's under the chin. Hunter can finish this right now. It's not perfect, but he's very finishable. Very tight, very tight. He needs to fight the hand, but Hunter's, a good, I think he's a little bit too strong for this right now. Hanging on for now, and there is the tap. Over and out, another first round finish for 26-year-old Hunter Colvin. Catch wrestler Javier Garcia was down on the scorecards when he pulled off a buzzer-beating triangle choke victory with less than 10 seconds to go at LFA 104. Can Garcia pull off a miracle? Ben Jones pleading, Tommy, he has to yeah, go. Tev is trying to create some momentum to get up. Keeps fighting to not get mounted here. Looking to push back that knee sliding to mount. Same time looking to attack the guillotine. This is a huge oh. round for Garcia. Oh, 30 seconds. He's gone from the half guard to mount now. Looking to get that arm triangle. Oh, we got another triangle right here. Oh, look at this. 24 seconds. He got the triangle locked up. Garcia looking for a last second submission. We got 17, 15 seconds left here. Can Timothy oh, Tavares? Oh, no. no. He can't. Contender Series vet and BJJ Black Belt, Kanan Kawaii executed a power guillotine just seconds into his fight against a former title challenger, and it had the entire MMA world buzzing. Kicks right away from Kawhi. You see right away this fight, it's, it's southball versus southball. Beautiful sprawl right there into a ninja choke. No arm in right here, has it's like a rear naked choke. Look at this. From the front. Tapped oh out my tap. god! Just wow. like that! Kane and Kawhi high! What an <laughs> what a performance! Before he became the LFA's second two-division title holder. Former Arizona State wrestler Josh Silvera was adding next to his collection on a regular basis. Here is one of his best against a fellow BJJ Black Belt. 
and Vienna, the white shorts, and blue tape, and Silvera dumps Vienna right away. Incredible timing on that double leg. Vianna gets right up Ooh. just as he's supposed to, and that's almost the hardest thing is getting taken down right again as you got up. Um, so good job of by Silvera staying attached, and now he's going for that rear naked oh, choke. Yes, he is. Both hooks in, oh, looks across the chin, but it's sinking tight. under. It's Vienna sinking in under. Trouble. Hanging on barely somehow. There's the tap over and out. Taylor Malden got the last minute call up from the prelims to the main card, and she did not disappoint with the LFA's first knee bar of 2021. Headlock, so definitely not not what I expected, but this is mixed martial arts. Expect Absolutely. the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. And Malden uh, gotta watch the submission. Now she attacking the leg after dropping some hammer fists. Ooh, that's a tight oh, knee bar. Wow, that's a really this. tight knee bar. Oh and my gosh! Tap. Over and out. Clayton Carpenter can finish a fight from any position, and he showed that with this crowd-pleasing knee bar at LFA 108. Double underhooks, maybe get a body lock off of it. Oh, looking to roll underneath, going for the leg. How slick is this? He's going for a knee bar right now. He's got that left leg of Nicholas Clem tied up with a figure oh. four, attaching it to heel. He's looking for that he's knee bar. He's tweaking it. His corner's going crazy. They think he has an opportunity. I think he's, they're right. He's got to stretch. He's got to stretch. He's got to keep his chest on that shin. There's the tap. Over and out. During the LFA's second event in Brazil, Die Monster showed why she is one of Brazil's top female prospects with this slick rear naked choke. You know, Spencer got high levels. You, you, you saw it. She put it in. Oh, oh, oh. And now Die Monster looking for a second submission. Win, oh that's tight, and there's the tap! Five-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion Giovanna Canuto locked up her second submission win inside the LFA Octagon with this fight-ending heel hook. Beautiful transition, Gil. But look. There's Solizano, sorry, is not out of trouble yet. Oh, we got an inside heel hook here. Cat fighting hard. Oh, Canudo. Oh, oh. That leg, and there's the tap out. That is all. Lucas Clay, a relative of Cassius Clay, showed his family is also comfortable fighting on the ground with this smooth Darce choke at LFA 115. Get them in this uh, possible backside crucifix position. Oh man, Azaroski listening to Gerald Mearshart in his Working on a Darce right here. Got his Darce. Gerald giving him great advice. Go belly down or to your back. Either one, you don't want to be on your side in the Darce Run. position. Over and out. There is the tap. Dan, the determined Argetta was fresh off of being Brian Ortega's number one overall pick on Tough 28, was determined to get another win, and he did just that with this on bar. Such a dominant position. Oh, mounts up. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Gives up his back. Well, there's an opportunity here. He's going for the arm bar. Tweaking the arm. Got it extended right here. He's gonna roll, he's gonna be... And there's the tap! Marnik Mann made her LFA debut with a 100% finishing rate via strikes. But the Montana native showed her submission prowess at LFA 116 with this slick triangle choke. Two minutes ago in the third round. Yeah, she's gonna look for a triangle right here. She's got it. She doesn't, she doesn't have it cinched up. She's got a hold of the arm. She's, she's got it cinched up right now. She's got a hold of the leg. Macias is in a terrible position right now. She's going to eat elbows. The elbows continue to land for man. 
If Man wants to finish this triangle, she needs to go and either go double hands on the head of Macias to try to pull her head down or go on the shin, but she needs to tighten that triangle by pulling it down. That is it! She submitted! Ricky Iron Monkey Farrar showed the world how he got his nickname by climbing on his opponent's back with what we can only call a flying rear naked choke. Great takedown by Farrar, looking to slam his opponent. Oh! oh look at oh, that! Goes from the body! Transition! Rear naked choke! That's tight! Oh, Over! In! Out! Jamie Lynn Horth captured the LFA Women's Flyweight Championship in our last fight of the year by submitting a BJJ black belt with this rear naked choke. In some trouble. Nice forearm. It wasn't even an elbow, it was just a forearm. Just a choppy shot. What an impressive performance by Jamie Lynn Horth so far. Now riding Cantoria. Looking for the rear naked choke. She could have it, Ron. Real tight. There is the tap. Over and out. Those are your 2021 nominees for LFA Submission of the Year. Now it's your turn to vote for your favorite. Follow the LFA on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at LFA Fighting. Click on the link and vote now.